We'll guide you through how to set up parental controls for an iPad. If you find this useful, then consider subscribing and liking the video. Perhaps your child or a young person uses it and you want to make sure it's set up so it's safe for them to use. So what you want to do is go and open up the settings. On the left here, you need to go and scroll down and you want to go and find the option for screen time and you can tap there. Now to go and start, we can go and come into app and website activity. Go and tap there. You want to go and press turn on. When you do that, that's going to go and give you a lot more options. First of all, you can go and set downtime. You want to go and switch on the schedule. So what you can do is go and choose when the downtime is. So in this case, it's already got a default time, 10 till 7, that's fine. Then you can come and press back. Come into app limits. And what you can do is go and press add limits. And you can go and set limits for different things or specific apps. For example, social, we could go and select that there. Go and choose WhatsApp and press next. And then you can go and choose how much time can be spent on it. We could do an hour, for example. Then you can go and repeat that for more, press back. Next, you can come into always allowed. So these are going to be apps which are always allowed, like educational things or other apps you may want. Next, you can go and choose if you want screen distance. This goes and helps reduce eye strain. I'll press continue. You can press turn on. You can go into communication limits. So you can set limits for calling and messaging. So you can go and see everyone's currently allowed. But we could go and tap there and go and change the different options of who's allowed if you want. You can also go and choose what's available during downtime. So you can go and change that to just certain people, maybe yourself or other people. You can go into communication safety and we can go and press continue. See, this will go and help detect explicit photos essentially, which is going to be really safe. Then what you can do is come into content and privacy restrictions. In here, we can then go and switch this on and you can go and choose what's allowed. So for example, we can come into iTunes and App Store purchases and you can go and decide that they are not allowed to go and delete apps. So we could set don't allow like so, and you go and get the idea. You can go and fully customize this to your liking, loads of things you can change like your microphone and lots of other things. We'll then press back. And then what you should do is you should go and lock this so they can't be changed without you. So you can press lock screen time settings and a passcode can then go and be set. Sign in with your Apple ID account so you can recover it if needed. That's it, parental controls are now set up. Leave a like if you found this useful.